October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're thinking pink. But what if you want to show your support for more than one month? We've got some great ideas. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. You know, a quilt is a great way to show your encouragement and love for someone who's having a difficult time. And a quilt is a very lasting comfort. Definitely, and we have some great pink kits for our breast cancer warriors today. Well, let's show the first one. Now, this one is called Dash. And Dash has a great uh, block here that can actually show a double focus fabric, or you can just use alternate colors. It's super easy to put together. And let's show you the fabric we have for this one. You know, Fran, those chemo rooms can get pretty chilly oh. and a quilt is so perfect to cuddle up under while you're going through Damn. treatment. And I think this fabric is gorgeous because you can sit there and remember to have faith and believe yes. and hope and know that someone really loved you. So this is our number one fabric and it's going to go in the pink block oh. right here. And that's perfect too because mm -hmm. it's a big enough block that the pattern is incorporating here that you can see all of these words to get all of that encouragement. Absolutely. And you know, one word that really sticks out to me is courage. Yes. Because it takes a lot of courage to go through something oh, like that. Yes. So this is also going to be out in our border. It's going to be a magnificent quilt. And look at our number two. It's a soft pink. It's going to go in the background. And if you've watched our program for very long, you know we tell you that when you're using the double focus, it's good to get a separation between those because the two busy fabrics right up against each other might compete a little. But with this light pink in there in the background, then it will really cause the number one and the number three to show up. Isn't that great? That is great. Dash is a great pattern for that too, for a double focus like this. Absolutely. And you know, we don't want to keep you in suspense any longer, so let's show you an image of what this one looks like. Uh, this one has that great double focus with that pink showing you the, the separation of the blocks. And um, it's beautiful. It's, and it, I love the, the pink monochromatic kind of theme here because I think it's very soothing and very loving. Yes, well pink does represent love. Oh, yeah, the color, that's, the well, color that's pink. right. That's right. so perfect. And you know, Dash is a great, great pattern and definitely a good one to do for charity quilts. But did you know that we also offer a free pattern online at fabriccafe.com? And we switch those out ever so often, but they're perfect for charity quilts or for donation quilts like this. Any three yards of fabric will work with any one of our patterns. And that's perfect too, because if you were to be out and about and run across a fabric sale, all you need is three one yard cuts to make one of these great patterns. That's true. <laughs> all right, so this one is called Pink Warrior. It's 8023345. Dash is the pattern, and that is from the book Easy Peasy Three Yard Quilts. Now this quilt is Pinwheel Party, and this one is really sweet. I love that we have a nice little pinwheel block here, but we also have a nice alternate block here that really shows off our focus. And what a fun one to make, and it just has a lot of movement, and just, it's so sweet. So let's put it on the table and check out the fabric. So Pinwheel Party is such a fun, fast quilt. I really, really like it. And I love this fabric that this is in. It just has such a sweetness to it and a caring to it that I think is perfect for breast cancer awareness. And you know, this is an interesting thing too. Now, I'm not a, a real pink, pink person. As you can mm -hmm. see, I have like shades of pink on. And I love the apricot pink. Ooh, it, yes. yeah, yeah. And so this is nice for if you have a friend that you know, I have an exuberant personality, but maybe I have a little <laughs> more down in my in my colors, a little more grounding, so that would be good for that. It is, and it's just so sweet. And as you see here, we have used it in our focus position, and that is gonna go in the center of our block here, as well as on the border and binding. Mm -hmm. And it, re it really works well. Now we've paired it with our number two fabric, which is a white with a multicolored dot, which is perfect for our number two because it kind of gives you a place to rest with your eye, mm -hmm. but it's not boring. You know, we always say that. So these dots pick up all of the different colors in our focus fabric. Mm -hmm. And that is gonna be in our pinwheel block here, as well as our half square triangles to make our pinwheel. Now our number three fabric 
is a duplicate of our, our focus fabric, so it kind of acts like a double focus, which mm -hmm. that's great, and this is a good pattern for that whenever you have a little bit smaller print like this. So here's our, our number three. It, you see here it's gonna go on our border of our block as well as our pinwheel. Love the pop and the contrast of this. I love the fact that when we usually show a double focus fabric, mm -hmm. we have two big blocks. Yes. And so this is really, because this is, your number three is always your accent color. So it actually is still acting as an accent, but it's a double focus. It's it, just fun. It is <laughs> fun. And I think it's neat that this pattern is perfect for this, but we have other patterns that it works that way too. So mm -hmm. this pattern is only available in the Quick as a Wink book, but we have something special to show everyone else too. That's right, because when we suggest an alternate pattern, it means that the pattern we're showing you is only available in a book. And so this one, look at this image. It is so sweet. This one is called Courtyard. And it's such a pretty quilt. It gives you a similar look with that uh, square inside the square, right, the framed. Right. Mm -hmm. And then that movement with that, that windmill, I just think it's so cool. It's so much fun. I like it. Yeah. Now let's get this kit information because it's really a special kit. The name of the kit is Country Rose. The number is 8023060. Once again, it is Pinwheel Party from the book Quick as a Wink, and that alternate pattern that we're suggesting is Courtyard. Now, this pattern is called United, and it has been a very, 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 very popular pattern. And I think one of the reasons it is is because you can show off such a beautiful focus fabric, but it has such interest in your alternate blocks and uh, sashing. So let's put this on the table and take a look. Now, Fran, this is another one. I love this fabric. This so fabric pretty. is gorgeous. I love it. But, you know, I'm going to digress just a little bit, and mm -hmm. I know that this is a little different, but, you know, we name all of our quilts things, mm -hmm. and whenever I was listening to you show the quilt, and we said that the name of this is United, I think it's kind of special because we are united yeah. in fighting the battle against breast cancer, and I think it's an appropriate quilt and appropriate name. That's very, very sweet. I agree. And we know that you do too because we've gotten notes and letters and oh, pictures yes. of all the quilts that you are making and giving as yes. just love from <laughs> your know. heart. You kind of start getting, um, yeah. okay, <laughs> this is gorgeous fabric and this United pattern is going to show it off beautifully. It is. So this is going to get this big focus block. Mm -hmm. Every one of the blocks is going to have this beautiful, beautiful oh, fabric. It is gorgeous. And then we're going to put the, and why don't you hand me the cropping tool? Oh, I think I yes. might have said, are your your alternate block, but really our sashing. And this is actually one block. So let me let me block it out here so you can see how cool this block is. Let me see if I can see the seams. You <laughs> know, sometimes yeah. these seams mm -hmm. just kind of almost disappear in there. Isn't that great? It's really great too because what happens is is that you can make your block in this piece with just strip piecing, which makes it go really fast. Yes, I, I really love fast. that aspect of our patterns. We we really do spend a lot of time simplifying how those patterns yes. are put together. Yes. So this is going to be the focus, and then we're going to um, have the number two is all of our background colors. So much. Fun. And that is going to be, once again, we keep saying this because I think for a while we had boring number twos. That's all we had. A, you know, <laughs> they really one. weren't boring, but, no. but they didn't have the same interest that they seem to have yeah. now. It's like all of the manufacturers are doing this. Getting on board with three yards. That's yard right. <laughs> <laughs> so that number two fabric is perfect to be the backdrop for that one and that three. Isn't Look that, that just yummy? Oh, that pink is just mm -hmm. gonna frame that focus so perfectly on this quilt. And it'll be here <sighs> and here and out in yes. the border. That is going to be great. And it's cool too, because this is going to be over here in the border. It's ah, gonna make a pretty border. It will. Now let's look at it at an image of this one made up because this is really, really sweet. It I is like so this sweet. One. And I love the way that the, the focus fabric is really highlighted with that number three pink bordering it because it really helps it pop, really helps you give a place for your eye. And it, it actually kind of helps frame the number two fabric too, which I think is kind of neat. And that's such a pretty shade of pink. I really like that as yes. well. Now this one is called Art Therapy. It's 802. 
The pattern is united from Make It Patriotic, and an alternate pattern is Sugar Pie, which would also look adorable. So the, our next pattern here is called Traditions. Now, I love traditions, and it is one of my go-to patterns, and there's a couple of reasons why. First, we have this nice big block here that really shows off a beautiful focus, and it's bordered here with our number three. But then we have an alternate block that has a lot of interest, a lot of movement, and really adds something spectacular to the quilt. So let's put this one on the table. Check out the great fabric we have for you. So this is our Traditions quilt, Mom, and it's actually your design. And I have to say, truly, like I mentioned before, I go to it all the time because of the nice big block here. And as you can see, we have some gorgeous focus fabric here. This looks like it's been painted very recently. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. And it's a nice big scale print. So the Traditions pattern is perfect because it has this nice big block. Mm -hmm. So this fabric will go here. Now, you're also gonna see just some little touches of it on the alternate block and the points of our star here. But what that's gonna do is just give us the little pops of color, which is just gonna be perfect. It's just gonna help pick it up and blend. So really, really, really like that. Now, our number two, and you know, I love this fun number two. It is actually a little bit of a scribble pattern, but it's done in gold. And the gold is cool because this focus fabric also has a little bit of gold on the leaves and on the flowers. So it kind of gives it that continuity, which is so cool. I thought that was pretty. And it has that, gives it that really rich, elegant yeah, look. Yeah, it mm -hmm. does. It does. So our number two is going to go on the background here, everywhere you see the white on this quilt. And then for our really nice pop, we have this beautiful textural pink. And it, once again, it kind of blends so well with mm -hmm. that watercolor art feel. It kind of has that same feeling. And of course, it's gonna border this. So as you can see, this is, you're gonna see an image in a minute because it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so that pink is gonna border right here. And then it's also gonna be points of our star and on the border of the quilt itself. It's going to be fantastic. It is. It really, and really is. And you know, is. looking at this image that's on the screen, it just underlines that same thing that we keep saying, that is any three yards will work with any one of our patterns. Yes, and this is gorgeous. <laughs> it is. And you just saw that gorgeous Christmas quilt. Now you've got this beautiful think pink quilt. Ah, good point. So just because it's done in Christmas fabric here, it can totally change its look just by changing the fabric. That's right. And, you know, so many people tell us that they really like the fast, easy patterns mm -hmm. to make for charity quilts. And I do want you to know that we've explored some of our best patterns for that in a video. So be sure to check that out. Yeah, it's a really good video. We know what big hearts you have, and we really, really appreciate it. And there are so many options out there for you to do some really quick donation quilts. So really love this. All right, let's get you the kit information on this gorgeous fabric kit. It is called Gilded Bouquet. The number is 8023344. It is the traditions pattern from the Make It Christmas book and the alternate pattern that we're suggesting is Friendship Star. Now this pattern is called Crosswalk. And one of the, the little secrets of this particular one is that it's a one block quilt. And it actually, every quilt block is made the same way. It just has an alternate uh, color way that we've put it together. So let's put this up on the table and we'll talk about the fabric. Now this one is, as I was saying, a one block and it's just so easy to put this quilt together because it's also uh, a lot of uh, strips of fabric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just, and, it just, just so, so fast because like you said, it's just strips of fabric. Right. It's really easy. So uh, when you're making it, you'll make this block and then you make the same block in an alternate uh, order of the fabric. So where the pink's on the outside here, the pink is on the inside here. Oh, okay, yeah. I got it. So something I noticed was like the last pattern that we were looking at, Traditions, had a really large block and the print, the scale on the fabric was really large. So it worked really well in that pattern. So now we have one that has a smaller scale print and it works really well in this pattern. That is so true. So once again, it's, you know, any pattern will work with any fabric, but you might want to take that into consideration while you're choosing your fabric that a smaller print will look 
better in these smaller pieces. Right. And of course, we do have an image for you in just a minute. <laughs> so this is our number one fabric. It's going to go everywhere you see this cute little kitty fabric. It's going to be right here. And then we're going to have this Aww. wonderful little uh, white with the little bitty hearts. That's, That's so, so sweet. sweet. <laughs> you know, you're saying it with your fabric. You say, yes. say I love you with the fabric. Yeah, so so sweet. this is going to go everywhere you see the little uh, seed dot that we have on this one. And then for our number three, which becomes our accent colors, mm -hmm. and out on the border, we have this red. Now, I said we had an image, so let's take a look at that. Isn't that sweet? It is wonderful. And I really like the number three fabric on this one. I like that kind of diagonal cross hatch kind of look. It's mm -hmm. very cool, and I think it's a really good look with that floral. It's such a sweet floral. And it'll work great with this the way we put this together, the strips, so you don't have a lot of worrying about, well, is this going to go together or not? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, it'll look great. So uh, this particular one is called Lighthearted. It's 8023342. It's the crosswalk pattern from our one block three yard quilt books. But an alternate pattern that you could use would be windmill, and that's the same way. It has the small, oh, yeah. smaller blocks, so it'll work perfectly Perfect. with a smaller print. You know, we did mention that we have a free pattern on our website, and we want to encourage you to go over there and download it right away. But we have other resources for you. We do. We also have a website called FreeCaringQuiltPatterns.com where we offer several free patterns for you to download that are a little different than what we have as our regular free pattern. That's right. And you know, we really want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all of you quilters who are making such a positive impact on the world by giving of your quilting skills. Yes, it really does make a difference and it really does um, help encourage those that are in a spot that may be a little down in their lives. So it's Fran Morgan and Donna Robertson. Thank you so much for quilting.